Okay, we're ready to get started. I have all my supplies here. Tissue paper, stapler, scissors. I also have a ruler because I wanted to make sure my um, lines were straight and that my squares were the, or that the sides were the same size. So um, what you're looking for with your tissue paper is to make eight inch squares for this project. You can do, uh, you can do rectangles, you can do different size squares, but today we're doing eight inch squares. And that's gonna give us a flower of approximately this size, okay? So let's get started. When you have all your four, when you have all your squares together, your eight pieces that are stacked and aligned, we're gonna start doing an accordion fold is what it's called. And let me show you how to do that, okay? Take your bottom and grasp the paper here on the end and do a fold from the bottom towards the top. Just about a couple centimeters, maybe close to an inch, all right? And give that a good crease. Now an accordion fold, we're going to fold the opposite way here, there we go. All right, so back, it's like backwards and forwards. Very easy. Just keep going and pressing down and creasing as you go until you get to the end and you run out of paper. Generally, you're gonna have um, between six and eight folds. Okay, now see it's got a little raggedy bit at the end. That's fine, fold that in, and that will actually be probably the inside of our flower. Okay, so you see now it looks like a fan almost. All right, so hold it together like this. Lay it down flat here. Take your stapler, and right in the middle, on an angle, you're going to put a single staple, okay? Just, there we go. So it's gonna be just like that. It's right in the middle, as you can see. All right. Here come. Our next step is going to be cutting the ends into the shape of the petal that we want, okay? If I cut a half circle or a half moon shape, I'm going to get petals like this one. They'll be soft and rounded. If I cut snips, just little snips at the end here, then I'm going to get a flower like this, with these kind of petals, okay? If you look on the internet, there's all kinds of ways you can do this, but the um, really the easiest and the most typical way is to do the rounded edge. So take your scissors and just do like I said, about a half circle, just like that, okay? Here's my end result. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Oop, there we go. All right, move those off to the side. We are done with our scissors now those over there and now we get to start fluffing this is the fun part okay as you can see with the staple holding um, everything together we can't we have like two fan shapes on either side of that staple that's going to be the staple is going to be uh, like the core of the flower so let's start there and we're gonna start fluffing now what that's going to do or what that involves is merely separating the inside piece of paper from the ones behind it and pulling it straight up until it's in the shape that you want. You'll find that the tissue paper is pretty resilient. It's pretty forgiving and um, you can manipulate it to any shape you want. So just keep going. Oh, now see I'm going too fast here and I have a rip. Don't worry about it. No one will ever know you won't be able to see it, it'll be hidden. But that does um, 
lead me to tell you, you know, take your time, be careful with it, try not to rip too much. So, uh, all right, there we go. Okay, this is what the back looks like. Uh, occasionally, I have put just a tiny spot of hot glue and a small piece of um, index card or um, cardstock, and that way I can glue this, glue the flower flat to a surface or lay it down flat without worrying about it tipping all over the place. So um, I really hope that you enjoyed this craft. I have a lot of fun making it. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. And be sure to join me next week on Wednesday for another fun DIY craft at home.